Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I will show you how to make a scarf called Starlight. So this is going to be our project today. You see that we are working with a glitter thread in here and I hope you can see it even though it's really hard to catch on camera. I don't think we've had this many glitter videos or videos with glitter threads so I'm really excited to show you this today. And I'm showing you this scarf because there are a lot of really interesting glitter threads that you can use that we haven't used before. So a lot of different colors, different widths or different thicknesses. So yeah, a lot to work with, a lot to try out as well as a lot of projects to do with it. And I think it looks really special in the end and kind of gives this, um, gives the scarf a new dimension. So, if you have other ideas what we can do with such materials, feel free to recommend whatever you um, would like to see or maybe have already tried out yourself. So, I personally worked with this copper colored one, but now I'll do the silver one with you guys with the blue woolly hug bobble. Also, a really neat thing is that glitter threads are usually much longer than regular ones. Make sure to check, of course, but mine has, for example, 1000 meters, so I definitely know it's going to be enough for my bobble that's only 800 um, meters long. So make sure to check your um, details about what kind of thread you are working with, what kind of length and thickness. And yeah, let's get ready and we can start. Here I now used my bobble thread and my glitter thread. So we will start as always with chains and this time with six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go back into the first one, do a slip stitch and close the round. And now we get a little ring that we will do 11 trebles. So in order to do that, we will do 10 actual trebles and 3 chains instead of the treble. And then 10 more trebles. I will also work the beginning thread from both the bobble and the glitter thread into the work so that we don't have to weave it in later. Three, six, eight. and 10. So that's the first one we started with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 trebles total. My first row is now done and we can now mark rows so that in case you need to rewind you always know where to stop and where we are at. So in the second row we do three chains instead of the first treble and then we do an additional chain and turn the work. Go here into the second stitch and do a treble. Again, a chain and a treble into the next stitch. Okay. 
and then you just keep working it to the end. So in between each treble goes a chain. The second row ends with a treble around the third chain of the first fake treble of our first row. And that's how row 2 ends. Now again, 3 chains for the height turn and then go around the first treble and do a relief treble from the front. Then a chain and around the chain from the last row goes a treble, chain and around the next treble from our last row, again a relief treble from the front, chain and treble around the chain of the last row, and again a chain. And here a front relief treble. Chain and a treble, then chain and the front relief. Chain and the treble, and then a chain and the front relief. Chain and treble, and chain and front relief. chain and treble, a chain and front relief, chain and treble, a chain and then a front relief, chain and treble, a chain and front relief, chain and a treble, a chain and a front relief, chain and a treble, a chain and a front relief, And the third row ends with a treble into the third chain from the fake treble of the second row. Now comes row 4 and we are again doing 3 chains to replace the first treble and then we will work around the relief treble. One relief treble, but from the back this time. One chain and into the treble from the last row, we do two trebles but no chain in between, two trebles after one another, one chain and a back relief treble, and one chain and two trebles into the single treble.
one chain in the back relief treble and one chain and two trebles into the single treble. One chain and a back relief treble and one chain and two trebles into the single treble. And now you just keep going like this until you reach the end of the row and then we will start our next row. In the meantime, I wanted to tell you about the Facebook group that we have. It's called Wooly Hugs and um, there you can find different patterns, different ideas, inspiration for all of your projects, including knitting, um, crocheting, Tunisian crocheting as well. It's a big community, there is a lot of people doing different things for beginners or maybe a bit more complicated, but feel free to check it out. One chain and two trebles into the single treble. One chain and a back relief treble and one chain and two trebles into the single treble. One chain and a back relief treble and one chain and two trebles into the single treble. One chain and a back relief treble and one chain and two trebles into the single treble. One chain and a back relief treble and one chain and one single crochet into the third chain of the fake treble. So we end round four. The next round starts again the same way. We chains as a fake treble. Turn and do a front relief around the relief from the last row. Then do a chain. Now two trebles and into the following treble one more. Chain and front relief, again a chain, two trebles and then into the following treble one more treble. Chain and front relief, again a chain, two trebles, and then into the following treble, one more treble. And repeat to the end of the row. Five rows or fifth row ends now. I did the two trebles now. I did end with a chain and one relief from the front, then one treble into the third chain. Now again, start with three chains, turn and relief from the back. Now 
a chain into the mid treble from the three goes another treble three chains and a treble then another chain and a back relief A chain into the mid treble from the three goes another treble, three chains and a treble, then another chain and a back relief. And repeat one more time. A chain into the mid treble from the three goes another treble, three chains and treble, then another chain and back relief. And end of the row. Here is my last mid treble. Now chain, back relief, and one treble into the third chain. That row was row six. And now relief trebles from the front. So in odd rows you always do the front relief trebles and in the even rows you always do back relief trebles. And you see how you get a nice edge on the front side. So anyway, let's continue. After the front relief comes a chain and around the chains go again goes again a treble, three chains and a treble. Seventh row is the same as the sixth, but reliefs go from the front this time. A chain, always the chain, then a treble, three chains, treble, and three chains, one chain, and front relief. Chain around the three chains goes a treble, three chains, treble, chain, and front relief. And you do that to the other side. At the end of the seventh row, we are ending with a front relief and a treble into the third chain of our fake treble. Row 8, let's do 3 chains and turn now and we will do back relief trebles. Chain, and now here we have three chains, treble, and now we are doing two trebles, three chains, two trebles. So same but two trebles. Chain, back relief, and again. Chain, two trebles, three chains, two trebles.
chain and release from the back, one chain and two trebles, three chains, two trebles, And the 8th and ninth row we just repeat, so it's always the same. The ninth will again have 2 trebles, 3 chains and 2 trebles. So here is row 8 now and 9 too. End of row 9, we are doing a treble into the third chain of the fake treble and we start a new row. Now we are starting with 3 chains and turn. Odd row, so back relief, chain, two trebles around the chains here, now leave the first one and do one into the next one, and then again two trebles around the chains. Three chains, two trebles. Always two, and one comes into the following treble. One treble stays free, so chain, back relief, chain, treble into the second treble of the last row. And then again the three chains with two trebles and chain. Last treble goes into the treble after the chains. Let's repeat. Chain, treble, two trebles, three chains, two trebles. And now you did the 10th row. The next row you do with leaving one of the two trebles free. So make sure you don't forget that. First treble goes here and second and third here. So I'll finish the 10th row and then I'll show you how I did um, the last row. So how we kind of end but meaning that you can keep on going this way as long as you like. I'm at the end of row 11. Chain and again three trebles. So always two rows with the same number of trebles. Here go two. First goes into the third so that two can go around the chains. 
the three chains we always do and then three chains and two around the chains third treble into the first of the three then again chain front relief chain two trebles Three chains and again two trebles and the first treble gets the third treble. Chain and one front relief and you repeat. So you see the pattern is pretty repetitive when you get the hang of it. It may take a while, but it really pays off in the end. So yeah, just stick with it and after a while it's gonna all make sense. So we did two rows with two trebles and now come two rows with four trebles. Three chains, back relief, and one chain. Now I have four trebles, two always go around the chains, and two come after. Two and three, four and the three chains, two around the chains, and two into the following troubles. Just one stays free. Now we have just one treble left. In the 11th we had two free and in the 10th just one. So chain, back relief, chain, leave one treble, two around the chains, three trebles, and go into the following treble. So we need four trebles, so to go here. And this is how you continue. In row 13, you will have again four trebles. So you would skip the first two, do two trebles into the third and fourth. And the next two ones would as always do around the chains. And that's four. In the following two rows, which are rows 14 and row 15, you would have five trebles which means that you would, in the first section, leave out just one, then one, two, three trebles, and the last two into the chains. In the following row, you would again skip two, and then again just one, and then again two. So that keeps changing that way, the number of trebles that you skip between one and two, and it should be pretty easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Feel free to let me know what you think. 
If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can stay notified whenever I post something new and also you can gain access to older things I already posted. If you like this particular project, feel free to shoot a thumbs up. You can also share this with your friends. And yes, thank you for watching Veronica Hug. I'll see you next time in our next project. And until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!